Hey, what's up? This is gonna be a quick video today. I tried something out recently and ran into a problem and I'm curious to see if anybody else has had a similar uh, issue with their setup. So if you've seen my previous videos, then you know about my setup here. I have two grow watt inverters running in split phase. Now I've been charging the batteries with an external uh, battery charger going straight down to the terminals, but I decided to try hooking up the AC input and see how that would work. So as you can see over here, I wired in a nice little cord and when I went to plug it in, it tripped a ground fault. And I have some footage of that and I'll show it here. So my first thought was, oh, I, I screwed up the cord. So I pulled the cord out, I completely disassembled it, I checked all the connections and everything was fine. So the next suspect was the inverter itself. And I decided to test the terminals and well, you know what, let's just show you. So here we are with the unit powered off, testing continuity. And as we'd expect, everything looks fine. Okay, now here's where it gets funky. Now that the inverter's on, if I'm gonna check continuity between, say, the ground and the neutral, it's bonded. Okay, but if I check between ground and hot, there's continuity there. Hot, neutral, there's continuity there. There's continuity across all three of these terminals. Now you can imagine, well, we saw what happens when you plug it in. It's a short, you get a ground fault. So I'm trying to figure out why this is the case. It only happens when the inverter is powered on. During the startup phase before the output kicks in, the bond is not there. So it's only once the output kicks in. So there you go. I mean, all three terminals on both units, by the way, because I tested both of them individually, are bonded together. Uh, obviously that's a problem because as soon as you try to plug something in, you create a short and it just trips my ground fault breaker that I have this stuff plugged into. I can't figure out what's going on here. I haven't opened up the units. I've really gone through them with a fine tooth comb, but obviously it's odd behavior. And I'm curious, has this happened to you guys? Uh, please, if you've run into anything similar, throw it in the comments below. I obviously will be chasing down support with GrowWatt uh, and the retailer where I bought these just to see if they have any ideas. But for now, I'm stuck using that external charger because, well, obviously I can't use AC input. So thanks for watching. You like the video, you know what to do.